welcome back to today's video. So I'm super excited as you can see by the title. Today's video is all about my fashion essentials. So basically I'm going to be sharing with you guys pieces that I feel like everybody should have in their wardrobe that you can kind of work any of the new trends around, never really go out of style, they're timeless. And I'm going to be showing you guys some affordable options, that way you don't have to like break your bank, you can save some money. But these are really things that everybody should have in their closet. And I will be inserting some like pictures of how I like to style some of these pieces. So if you guys are interested, then just keep on watching. Okay, so my first essential that everybody should have in their closet, and I'm sure everyone does to some extent, are just basic colored tops. You can never go wrong with a basic t-shirt or even just some sort of like basic solid color. It's when you start going more into like prints and stuff that I feel like they can be in and out as far as trend wise goes. I mean stripes are kind of always in, like that's a safe option and some other prints. But I always think it's just safe to go with solid colors and you can really work a lot of outfits around them. So I just want to show you guys like two of my favorites. So this first piece right here is just like from Forever 21. It's just like a solid gray t uh, like top. It's really cool though because it does have like this like slip right here or panel. I don't really know what you would call it. It like opens and it just like drapes really pretty at the bottom. I actually love pairing this with like either jeans, black pants, or like a cute little tight skirt. Um, the material is really soft and then just some like really pretty jewelry. And yeah, just like really basic and simple. Again, like this is never going out of style. Also, everyone needs to have just like a classic t-shirt, like a V t-shirt so this one right here is from Express. Express has some of my favorite t-shirts. They're super soft. They last forever and this is just like a really pretty olive green color. I love tucking t-shirts into jeans or even with like a denim skirt. Like you could just do so much with it whether you're wearing leggings. I mean just casual you could dress it up. You could dress it down. It's just essential and you can also like roll it up at the bottom. I know that's kind of trendy right now. Um, but yeah, everyone needs like a ton of these. I have a bunch in like all different colors depending on my mood and the season. Um, obviously like that green color is more of like a fall winter color, but as I transition into the fall, I mean white, black are always safe options and then I'll start to go more colorful, but you just can never go wrong with a classic t-shirt. Another piece that I feel like everybody should have in their wardrobe is a pair of like faux leather, um, like shiny glossy looking pants or skinny jeans. Um, I actually found this pair recently at TJ Maxx on sale for like $10. It was a really good deal. And these are just like really stretchy um, like skinny jeans. Mine are wrinkled at the moment, but they're basically just like a faux leather and they just look really sexy and just classy and sleek. When I wear them, I will insert like a picture of how I styled them. I did do like a quick little photo shoot last week, um, but I love them. I get so many compliments. And they just really dress up an outfit. So like if you want to wear these jeans with like this t-shirt and then like some jewelry and like cute shoes. I mean like it just totally dresses up an outfit. They're perfect for going out but you could totally like keep it more casual too with like a t-shirt like I said. Okay another thing that everyone should have in their closet is just a button up black t-shirt. Not t-shirt. I don't know like blouse rather. Um, this one I got from Forever 21 for around like $12 or so, super affordable. It doesn't have to be black necessarily, like white safe, like just like basic solid colors. You could have like a red one, a green one, um, like colors that really never go out of style. I love black just because it's super flattering and whatnot. Um, but what's really cool is you could really do so many different things with this type of a shirt. So you could tuck it in to a pair of jeans if you want to be more casual. If you want to dress it up, you could wear it with like a cute skirt. And you can also wear it where you can like unbutton the whole thing and then just wear it as like a little like over like a tank top type of a thing. Like a, with like some patterns or colors going on. You really can do so much with it. You could dress it up, you could dress it down. These never go out of style. I think everyone should have at least like one in their wardrobe. Okay, the next piece is something that I'm sure a lot of you guys have in your closet already. And if you don't, you definitely should go get one. Um, these are definitely like investment pieces and I myself have not really invested in one yet. The one I'm sharing with you is from Forever 21, so if you feel like you're not going to get a lot of use out of this necessarily, you can find cheaper alternatives. I did find this one for like $25 at Forever 21 a few seasons back. I do like to size up with my leather jackets just because I do like to be able to like layer underneath them and all that stuff if you want a more of a tighter fit. Um, for like, you know, if you're going to find yourself wearing it more in like spring, summertime, then, you know, keep that in mind. But I personally like to size up with my leather jackets or even like any type of like jacket in general. So normally with small, this is a medium. 
but it just really amps up any look. It just dresses up a look. It's really great for going out at night. And you just can never go wrong. Like, in leather jackets never go out of style. Like, this will always be a timeless piece. And I just think everyone needs to have one. And then just like having a leather jacket is essential. I also feel like having a denim jacket is super essential. I actually prefer denim over leather just because denim is like more um, casual and I find myself wearing one a lot more often. But I did want to show you guys two different um, alternatives if you feel like this might be a little thick. You won't find yourself wearing it as much. Maybe you live in like Florida or something. Um, again, I will like insert a picture of like how I like to style jean jackets. And stuff but you really can just style it so many different ways you can wear it with a dress you can wear it with skirt I mean like jean jacket goes with everything the only thing I don't like wearing jean jackets with are denim jeans or shorts or anything like that like I don't really like denim on denim it's personally not my favorite I know some people like it not for me um, but like with those black leather pants it would look so cute like I just everybody needs one and you can find one for really affordable again mine is a medium because I do like to size up with my jackets um, but I just, I love it so much. Everyone needs one. <laughs> I think I'm talking enough about that. But I did want to mention another alternative if you feel like you won't be wearing the jean jacket as often. You could totally go with something a lot more lightweight like this, um, like button up denim shirt, like blouse or whatever you want to call it that I have. So I got this one from Forever 21. I'm pretty sure it was like $15 or so. Um, this one's a large. I kind of wish I got a medium. They didn't have one at the time. Um, but it's a lot more lightweight and again I will insert like a picture of me wearing one but they're just like again they just kind of dress up an outfit that you can wear it super casual you can like button it up there's just so many different ways to wear one that I think it's just a great piece to have in your wardrobe and again you don't need like a denim jacket you can totally just do like this lightweight blouse and still kind of get like that same look slash vibe okay and then I did want to talk about a couple accessories that I feel like everybody should have so first things first, um, for me personally, like having statement necklaces are a really important thing because a lot of these pieces that I'm showing you that like never go out of style and are timeless are pretty casual, like solid, basic things. So it's really important to dress it up. Me personally, I like to have more of like a solid, basic wardrobe. That way I don't have to go out and like constantly be buying new clothes for different trends. I'd actually rather spend my money on buying like accessories that are trendy and Things like that, just because I don't, you don't have to buy as much of it, I feel like, if you know what I'm trying to say. I did want to share some accessories with you that, like, never go out of style, and I feel like everyone should have. So this first little, like, bracelet set right here is from Francesca's, actually. It's just, like, a really pretty, like, beaded, sparkly set. I'm a big gold person when it comes to accessories. I just think it really pops on my skin tone, and it just pops in general against, like, the colors I like to wear, like, my neutral colors. This is a really great piece just because it really sparkles and it really just draws attention to an outfit and dresses it up a little bit. And then I did just want to show you guys like two of my favorite necklaces that I go to a lot. So this one is also from Francesca's. It's a pretty popular trendy um, piece at the moment. It's just like a gold layered necklace and it has like a little gemstone at the end but it just again like sparkles and adds like nice attention. I think I have a picture of me wearing it so I will insert that so you guys can see but I love that one so so much. And then I also really love this like gold tassel one. Tassels are really great. They're really like classy, trendy, never really go out of style. This is a longer one, so I do like this one a lot as well. Okay, and then I also have two pairs of shoes to share with you guys. So the first one is actually a newer pair, even though they are kind of dirty at the moment. But a loafer is just like something everyone should have. I swear by it. Even if you feel like they're not cute, they're comfortable, they are never go out of style. They're just, they're just the best, and I did actually find a really cute trendy piece. So there are these black, like, slide-on loafers. They're by the brand Franco Sardo. Mine, like, wore off on the thing. Um, but I found these actually at TJ Maxx on sale. They're really comfortable. They're really easy to slide on. They're black. They have, like, the cute little tassels on the end. They have more of, like, that shiny finish. They just are very, like professional, casual, but still dress up an outfit type of a shoe. I love them. They're super comfortable and I think everyone just needs a loafer. Even if it's not like the open back, I just think like a loafer in general is just a great piece to have in your wardrobe. I also think it's great to have something with a little bit more of a heel to dress up an outfit. First off, the color is great. I love camel everything because it goes with everything. 
Camel is always my go-to. I found this pair at Nordstrom Rack. It's by the brand Melrose and Market. It's one of my favorite brands actually. Um, it is more of like that suede material, so you do have to be careful because it will get dirty. It's not a wedge, it's not a heel, it's kind of like in between. They're easy to walk in, they're comfortable. Um, just a solid shoe like this I think everyone should have. So that completes this video, guys. I hope this was helpful. Maybe you realize you need to go and get some of these pieces to add to your closet. Maybe you realize you have a lot of these pieces. Um, but I think it's just really great to have this, like, solid foundation, like, base in your closet because you can really do a lot within it or with it, rather. Um, so if you guys are interested in me filming more, like, lookbook type videos, I do, like, want to do that here on my channel. So let me know in the comments down below. And I do plan to film a Valentine's Day lookbook, so if you guys are interested in that, then stay tuned. And I think that is it. As always, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you guys aren't already, and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if you found it helpful, and I will see you guys in my next video.